good morning from Sound International, the XL in London. There's Ryan, my model for today. There's Sean, Hello. trustee of the Lions. Um, we're going to be on the HJ, whoa, men's stage, just dropped my bag. We're going to be on the HJ men's stage today with Lion Barbers doing some trucking passes everywhere. But yeah, we're going to be up there. <laughs> um, Jack Ludlow's going to be doing some cutting for us. I prepped Ryan's hair last night in the uh, darkest hotel room known to man. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what that looks like in the lights. And then, uh, yeah, it's about 11.30. And then we'll go to Bluebeard Sand. Right, just trying to find the HJ men's stand. I think we've got it, it's over here somewhere. Behind this contraption. A mind reader. Huh? A mind reader, look. <laughs> there we are. And now we found it. Uh, I met Magda at a Johnny Benjamin talk next to university and we got talking about different things and she said that about oh. mental health first aid training. Oh. Like said, it was just a big break to be able to get some of the barbers and um, hairdressers involved. In so we'll set up, put our stuff backstage at HJ Men's Stand. There is uh, Ryan and Sean in tow. Just having a little wander around. Uh, it is, I think it seems a little bit bigger than last time I came. But if background over here, it's a keto scissors. So I'm gonna go over there and see the guys from there, catch up with them, and see how they're getting on. Ready for it, let's hear it. This is one, this is Sound International. We fucking are Sound International. Here we are backstage, HJ Men, Repping the Lions, Slow Lions, Jack Ludlow. I've got some point of view in this. Uh, you never heard of this before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From Jack. This is how he's back in the hair ready before we go on stage. It's really cool. Very, very, very exciting to be part of the uh, HJ Men's stage. How are you feeling? Nervous. How are you feeling? <laughs> Nervous. It's alright. I'll be good. It's all good. I'll just put some products in your hair in a second and start it before we go on, alright? see us today. Firstly I'd like to uh, introduce Jack Ludlow who is uh, one of the original members of the Lions Barber Collective, one of the original members of the Pride. He's going to be doing some um, hair demonstration for you today. I was going to do the Ryan's hair um, but then I realised that I thought it would be far more important to use my time at Sal International on this grand stage of the year to actually talk about the Lions Barber Collective and what we're trying to do to raise awareness for men's mental health and suicide prevention. What I'm going to do with my clients here today is increase some tapers in the parietal area towards the temples and create that graduation contrast and symmetry towards the occipital the bone at the back. So all I've done is insert my lowest point of graduation which I'm now going to rub out Briefly, everybody in this room knows that if you eat well and you diet, then your physical health will be good and you're going to live longer. Everyone knows that. But now it's time for us to look after our own mental well-being as well. And that's not just 
ourselves as barbers, but also the clients in the chairs. Our clients in the chairs are the most important people in this industry, because if it wasn't for these guys, we'd all be out of a job. These guys feed our families, they help us, they follow fashion that we create, and they enable us to keep on having their haircut, which enables us to pay for the bills and have things like Sound International we're in today. So it's really, really important that we look after our clients. We hold lion's dens in our shop. There's something that is just started and we're allowing people to sign up to lion's dens because we get uh, um, I get messages and emails all day from all over the world asking how they can be part of the Lions Barber Collective. And this is a way that we've come up to that anybody can be part of the Lions Barber Collective and be part of the pride. So a Lions makes something a little bit interesting, maintaining length. And I feel that men's hair is starting to get longer, whether that be through the top, I think fades are dropping into tapers. I'm trying to grow my hair right now, it's a nightmare. But in, in you know a year or so's time, I think the men's hair is getting longer. I think who's here? Who's here's a barber? Who here are hairdressers? So does any, anyone else think that the lines between barbering and hairdressing is, is changing and people are coming together? Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? So barbers are taking things off hairdressers and hairdressers are taking things off barbers. And it's the most exciting time in the hair industry in the 16 years that I've been in it. So it's really, really exciting. Looking forward to this future and hopefully I'll see you guys next year. I'll let Jack finish off. Can I just, can I just bring everyone's attention to the fact that this guy has actually left his own barber shop in the hands of someone else to focus on this charity alone. So can I have a round of applause for Tom? Thank you. He's an absolute hero. He's got sticky hands now. <laughs> well, thanks very much, guys. Really appreciate your time. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a massive H.J. Men's. So, we just come off stage at the uh, H.J. Men's stand. There's Sean behind me and uh, Ryan back there as well. It's absolutely mad here now. Just going to meet with the Samaritans. Um, talk to them about our barber talk training and the uh, different things that those guys are putting towards it and helping us develop it looks it's gonna be really really good really interesting to have another outsider's sort of uh, you know opinion on the whole thing so yeah just gonna meet those guys now it's a bit of a rush it's a bit crazy here um, but yeah we'll see them in a second so we just met with Samaritans me and uh, Sean over here <laughs> say hello Sean hello and Ryan was with us too uh, we're just going to head back into uh, Sound International now. We had a really good meeting about the uh, Barber Talk training, which we're going to be uh, developing and hopefully rolling out beginning of next year now. So, really exciting stuff moving forward and uh, just heading back into the exit. There we are over at the Bluebeard stand, which is getting absolutely uh, smashed. It's so busy over here. Apparently, we've sold loads and loads of fade brushes. That's Bradley. Hi, Brad. Like Barber Collective. Uh, Sticker on. Just going to put me in the background with these. On this one. Saw the guys cutting on the blue bit stand today. I'm just going to head over to Andy's and catch up with those guys. See how it's going. This is where Ryan wishes he was modeling. <laughs> Do you wish you were that guy in the middle, Ryan? You know. I'm just going to have to pay the uh, guys who keep those scissors. Does it? There they are. Great range of scissors, run by some great people. We've, uh, Sound International was awesome, we finished, we're done. Took us, what, about an hour and 40 minutes just to get across London. Just to get through Trafalgar Square. Yeah, and now we are literally back on the road home. We just stopped off at Redden Services to get some food, get some dinner. As we all realised, we hadn't actually eaten anything all day. So we're uh, going to get some grub and then um, head home back to Devon. And that's about it for this vlog. So that's me signing out. Ryan Bye. signing out.